All right, so if you can see right up here, it says I'm only doing 15 watts on array one, 23 watts on array two, and 19 watts on array three. And we're doing a total of 45 watts charge, which I don't think is correct. If we go over here to the Pi, we can check on the solar outputs over here, and they basically say the same thing. But if I go into the app, everything shows correct. What's going on everybody? I'm Average Joe and welcome to another Average video. All right, today's video is probably gonna be, you know, nice, short and sweet and hopefully to the point. We're gonna be upgrading the firmware for the LCD right over here for the 12,000 watt Lux Power um, hybrid inverter. This is basically the 18 kPV, but it's not the EG4 version. So this is just the, it's just the regular, regular 12,000 watt hybrid Lux power inverter. Okay, so I just got a quick little story and then we'll get right into it. So maybe this will be a little bit longer than short and sweet to the point. So a couple of videos ago, we were having like a huge blizzard out here, you know, and that whole chaos. Um, I actually got the most power I've ever seen out of the Sirius solar panels, which was a fantastic day, by the way. Anyway, one part in that video where we were out of power, I was getting ready to explain something and the grid came back on. So I came over here and was, was showing the screen over here and somebody in the comment section, of course, off-grid wannabe, he was like, hey, did you know that you can upgrade the firmware on your LCD screen to you know the latest version? And at that time, I didn't realize that you had to manually update this you know, with a SD card. I just assumed that whenever you do upgrade the firmware for this, that it just, that was it. Everything was magically done. I didn't know you needed to manually update the LCD screen on these. So if you didn't know that, you're not the only one. I didn't know that either. I just assumed every time that I would do a firmware update for these, you know, that's, that's basically all you needed to do. So there you go. I obviously don't know I don't know everything. So anyway, um, I asked off grid wannabe, how would I go about doing that? And he said I needed to go over to, actually we'll just go over to the computer real quick. So real quick, here's what off grid wannabe commented in that video. Your firmware on the Lux Power is old. You could update and show us in a video. So that's what this video is basically going to do. Uh, the LCD firmware should be at 20 and then happy blizzard, of course. So my next comment, of course, is I just did the standard update literally like a week ago uh, through the web, you know, just like I, I normally do. What did they change, you know, et cetera. I just did mine and it's FAAB 2020 with LCD 20 slash one slash zero, but you have to do the LCD manually. And that's where I was like, huh? So anyway, he said his LCD went black after the firmware update. Hopefully mine doesn't do that. I told him that my update was the same one. Of course, I'm asking, you know, where do I even get this file? And he said, go to the Lux Power Tech North America support uh, website. So I went there, I looked all over and I couldn't find, I couldn't find anything, any sort of firmware updates, you know, that I could download for the LCD. Uh, basically saying, you know, I must be a moron because I can't seem to find it. So then he emailed me a link real quick, which I will, uh, I'll put up on the screen. All right, so I got an email from Off Grid Wannabe with a link to the Lux Power WhatsApp chat. So number one, you're gonna need to get the WhatsApp app, all right? And then from there, you're going to join this chat right here. I'm gonna leave a link to this chat down below so you don't have to search for it or anything like that, okay? So, in, so once you join the chat, they're going to accept you, so it might be a couple of minutes, which I did do this just a couple of minutes ago. So once you're actually accepted, you can go into the chat, and this is what I did. I just said, hey, my name is Joe. I have the 12,000 watt, you know, I put the model number in there. Um, trying to update the LCD firmware, you know, where do I get the firmware so I can do that? And then somebody from the Lux Power, you know, team, they will upload the firmware in a zip file for you to download right there in the chat. For me, it happened to be Gilbert. So thank you very much, Gilbert, for all of your help. Uh, once you download that, this is what I did. I just, I already did it. I put it on an SD card already. You're going to want an empty SD card, you know, like one of these little sand disk or whatever. It says it has to be like 16 gig. I don't think it needs to be that much, but that's just what they recommend. Anyway, over here on the computer, this is gonna be the, the zip file that I got. It's LXP version 20 
underscore s type usb all right you're going to extract all of those files and this is what it looks like it's basically the folder that's inside what you're going to do is double click that and then inside there is another folder you're going to double click that one and then all of these files right here are going to be the actual firmware update so you're going to uh, copy and paste these onto your little SD card right here. That's all we need to do is copy everything over there. And then from here, we need to go back over to the inverter. So we will do that. All right, so once we have the door open, basically we're gonna go up to this USB port right here and plug in our USB with the files on it. So we're gonna plug that in right here and then we're going to go up to the main screen and restart the inverter all right i was just going to take a quick look at the screen before we do the update so this is what it looks like of course before we're on lcd version 10 we're going to be updating it to version 20. Uh, one thing i did want to make a note of is i don't think it's showing my watts and my solar correctly because it's showing 9 15 and 12. I think it's actually 900, 1500, and 1200. And then right down here, it shows 23 watts of charging, which I know is incorrect. If we go over to the Pi for my solar information, just wanted to show you again, 13 watts, 18 watts, and 15 watts. I know it's it's gotta be incorrect because if I go inside the app, everything shows up as normal. And then back up here on the screen, we're gonna go over to the little tiny gear down here on the bottom and then hit restart. Uh, once we hit yes, the inverter is gonna restart and it should update the firmware uh, as it restarts. So here we go. Boom, there we go. Now we're updated to LCD version 20. Oh, look at that. It actually updated uh, my solar input. So that's how it should read. 1.5, 2.1, 1.7. And it shows you down here, four kilowatt charging. Nice. All right, cool. Go to the Pi real quick. There we go. So it did update all of that information. Cool. All right, all we need to do now is remove the USB drive and we're done. Boom, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now everything is up to date. Everything reads correctly. Uh, there is one thing I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the video. I think the reason why these read incorrectly is probably after the, the last update, the last firmware update that I did. Of course, every time I do a firmware update, I don't I don't come over here and look at the screen. Honestly, I hardly ever look at the screen. It is nice having a screen, just in case you don't have your app or your phone or something handy, but I always look at the app and the app always reads correctly. So anyway, other than that, I wanna give a big shout out to Off Grid Wannabe for helping me out because I'm a big moron. I didn't even know I needed to update that, especially with a a little USB drive. And then I also wanna thank Gilbert for sending that file over so I can update the firmware. So a big shout out to you guys for helping me out. Again, I don't know everything. Of course, sometimes it might seem like I do, but I don't. I do read everybody's comments and I do learn a lot from you guys. So keep putting the comments in there, especially if you see something incorrect or wrong or, you know, or whatever, because I do learn from you guys as well. And then for my last, you know, final thought or whatever is, I don't really understand why they make it so difficult to to update these. I know from the EG4 crowd with those inverters, I think you can just go right to the EG4 website, you know, and type in your inverter and you can get all the, the firmware updates and, and basically everything that you need, uh, which makes it, you know, nice and easy. But with the regular, you know, Lux Power version, not EG4 brand, it's a little more difficult to to get that stuff. So hopefully this video was helpful for the regular, you know, Lux Power Inverter folks. Uh, if it was helpful, uh, the biggest or the most helpful thing that you can do for me is smash that like button on your way out. Uh, throw a comment down in the comment section and I will see you guys on the next. Uh, uh, um, um, um. which I did not see it. Okay, maybe let me...
Okay, let me take all the files out of the folder and then put that on the USB drive. Yeah, let me press pause. And all you need to do is download that zip file onto your computer. It's gonna, you, once you open it up, your computer's gonna go into a freak out because it's a huge virus. I'm just kidding, it's not a virus. Um, that would be terrible.